is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back again with another ranking style video and today we're not paying attention to either you know not one superstar we're not going to pay attention to just john cena seth rollins finn balor none of that guys we're diving into a specific set of wwe elite action figures that we've gotten from mattel a series that no longer exists you know it was one of the better series probably you know it was a really fantastic idea and so today we're taking a look at the defining moments WWE Elite figures and we're going to rank them. You guys know that we always do the tier list slash ranking videos where we determine who the best is, what the worst is, what the in-betweens are. I'm going to give you my own personal thoughts and opinions on what I think about all the figures in the set. I plan on doing this with probably ringside exclusives, probably some certain WWE Elite series, maybe one through five or something like that and try to rank and tier list every single figure up to a certain point I guess. Today ladies and gentlemen we are doing it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the tier listing if you guys have never seen these videos. If you guys have never been here before definitely go ahead and subscribe because we will do more of these but we got go buy it on the left side which if I put a figure and go buy it that means that it is good enough for you to go buy right now like it's just that good of a figure. There are some figures in this wave right here in the defining moments that are super expensive so they may not be ultimately realistic just all the time you know go buy all of them I mean I don't know you know. Ultimately go buy why it means it's the best of the best right it, it means it is the best of the best it's better than good figure it is like you need this in your collection is basically what i'm saying going down there we have good figure in blue which is you know it's a good figure good football figure goes right there meh is just below that where it's just like yeah it's not terrible it's not great it's not good it's just you know it's man it's like yeah it's not bad i guess is what this should be it's just not bad Barely acceptable is, you know, one thing or one or two things holding this figure back from being in the garbage. Like, there's just one or two things that's like, okay, yeah, okay, I guess that's cool enough. Not in the garbage. And then, of course, we do have garbage, which means if you're here, you're absolute garbage. There's just, it's just not a good figure. I mean, there could be a lot of problems with it, you know, things like that. So, that is our tier rankings. Go buy it. Good figure. Meh. Barely acceptable and garbage. So that being said guys let's go ahead and dive in. We are starting things off with the first figure and it is the Defining Moment Stone Cold Steve Austin. This is actually the second Defining Moment Stone Cold Steve Austin and for me this is in the good figure category. It could be a good uh, go buy it. I actually remember finding this at retail at the same Toys R Us I used to shop at. It used to be across from my college. It was right across the street and I would go there almost every single day just to check out what they had and they had a lot of this. I remember going and buying this and it was a good day, man. It came with three championships. It's a great standalone Stone Cold Steve Austin figure. Comes with a smoking skull, the WWF title, both versions, I, I might add. And it was it was just good, man. Uh, it may be go buy it. I, mean, I could move that up to go buy it, but we're going to move on from now. Next up, guys, we do have the Defining Moments Undertaker. And this one is really good. I like this one a lot. It actually... It actually shelf warm for a while. The Defining Moments Undertaker. This was actually the second Undertaker Defining Moments as well. I'm going to go buy it on it. I think I put it in the go buy it on our Undertaker figure ranking when we did like the tribute to the Undertaker's career. And I think that figure is really, really good. It's a really good, great detail, great head sculpt, good accessories. It's just a fun figure and it's shelf warm forever. I don't know what it goes for nowadays, but it used to shelf warm. Like you go Target, there'd be eight of them on the pegs. It was super sad, but it's worth the pickup. Next up, guys, we have Razor Ramon with the purple and he has the intercontinental championship for me this one's meh and actually it may go down to barely acceptable later on the big problem with this figure was that it like had a loosey-goosey leg problem like i've owned this figure three or four times from different trades and buying random figure lots and stuff like that that figure right there every time you just twirl his head you hold him by the head and just do this right here legs are kicking like a freaking hobo man it, it's crazy just jello legs all the time anybody that's on that figure probably has that problem with it i'm gonna put it in meh for now could drop wasn't the biggest release for me i'm not a big razor ramon fan i respect what he did and you know i enjoy some of his work hey yo but i just yeah it's just meh for me next up guys we do have the first defining moments rick flair figure with the great robe and the world heavyweight championship i think this is a good figure i think this is a good figure i love the cloth robe i like the head sculpt the light blue attire world heavyweight championship it's a really good figure i think it's pretty outstanding i think it's definitely better than his second defining moments which we will get into but well, that's still pretty solid. I like that a lot. Next up, guys, we do have the Defining Moments Bret Hart. And this one, for me, is good figure again. I'm not going to say go buy it. I think that you could easily just buy the Defining Moments, or not the Defining Moments, but the ringside exclusive Bret Hart, possibly. Uh, it'd probably give you the same. I think the attires are very similar. I could be wrong about that, but it does have a great cloth jacket. It comes with a Canadian flag. I mean, it's a really good figure. I'm not, I've never owned it, so I'm not going to say go buy it, but I would put it in the good figure category. It's a really good figure. And I know a lot of people are actually really sad. That's, that's 
that figure is pretty sought after, I do believe. And I think it goes for a pretty penny, especially if you have it mocked. So I'm going to put it in good figure for now. Could change, but I haven't owned it personally, so it's hard for me to put it and go buy it for now. Next up, guys, we have the first Defining Moments John Cena. This, for me, is a go buy it. I'm going to put it above Undertaker just because I love that figure so much. I think the cloth accessories are great. I like the head sculpt. It's got the chain gang armbands, black shorts. It's got good shoes on it. It's got the chain gang hat, chain. Comes with a lot, man. Double championships, WWE spinner, US spinner. One of my favorite figures Mattel's ever made. I love that figure. It's definitely go buy it. I don't know what it goes for, but... I would highly recommend you owning that figure. That John Cena is probably, if not the best, it's one of the best John Cena's they've ever made. Next up, guys, is the first defining moment, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And this one is a go buy it as well. This one is super nostalgic for me, so it may be a little bit biased. But I still love all the accessories, man. I love the, the camo jacket, the cloth Austin 316 shirt, the hat. It's in jeans. It's just super nostalgic for me. I, I love it. I remember this as a kid, man. It's just so crazy to look back on that. I was so young, and it's just it's such a nostalgia pop for me. This Austin figure is definitely one of the best. I don't think I've ever owned the camo jacket, but I have owned this figure with that t-shirt and the hat multiple times. And it's just, Austin figures are so fun to collect. They're hard to come by, actually. I think they go for a lot of money now. But the, the, that figure right there is go buy. Next up, guys, is Shinsuke Nakamura, and I'm going to say good figure. I like this, defin this Defining Moments figure. You know, some of these are terrible Defining Moments. Like, some of them are not even Defining Moments, to be honest with you, like, from my point of view. But Shinsuke Nakamura was a great figure. I liked it. The head sculpt wasn't the best on the first one, but I actually remember going to Toys R Us, and uh, they, they had this figure. I don't think I had the money at the time, so I had to hide one. I went back to Toys R Us later, and... And all of them were sold out except for the one that I hid in a different section of the store. Bought that hoe. It was the best day ever. And I remember that for this figure. I've since turned this figure into a WrestleMania 34 Shinsuke with the gold armbands and stuff like that. But for a first figure, I think that they nailed it with the Shinsuke. The head sculpt wasn't the best, but we've gotten plenty of great head sculpts. The Elite 63 is a banger. And this is a good figure, man. I like that one a lot. Next up, guys, is the Batman Undertaker, if you want to call it that. It's got the big bat wings on it. It's got the teardrop tattoo. I don't remember where I put this in the Undertaker ranking, but I kind of just want to put it in good figure. I think it's it's probably like right here or so. I like the leg mold. I like the accessories and everything. I cannot remember exactly where I put it in the Undertaker ranking, so I don't want to, you know, I don't want to rank it lower than I actually did in that video. It may have been go buy it. It may have been good figure. I'm going to put it in good figure for now. Again, I've never owned this figure, so it's kind of difficult for me to say. I have owned this one, and I know how good it is, so I do want to put this in good figure, even though I probably did rank it lower or higher in the uh, Undertaker ranking. Hopefully, I put it in good figure. We'll see about that. I don't know. But let's move on, guys. We're moving on to the Ultimate Warrior WrestleMania 7 figure, and I'm not a big... Uh, you know, Ultimate Warrior fan, but I, I'd i say this figure is is pretty daggum good, man. It's pretty daggum good. I like the uh, the face paint. I like the, the attire. I love the, the cloth vest that's going on with it. I think this one came out around the time as The Rock in 2011 or something like that, and I, uh, I like this figure, man. It's a good figure. Never owned it, but I have owned plenty of Ultimate Warriors, and they're pretty solid figures. I think they're, pre they're definitely pretty solid, but I'm going to put it in good figure for now. It's kind of crazy that we don't have any mess or, or anything right now. It's just kind of, you know, all over the place. Let's move on, guys. We have the WrestleMania 25 Shawn Michaels. This one is a go buy it for me. I think it's really dead gum good. I love the white coat. I love the white hat. I just love the attire. The head sculpt's a bit suspect. You know, it didn't have, like, a beard on it. They kind of messed up the paint on the eyes, I think, on a, a lot of them. There's, like, a head sculpt out there that you can switch that has, like, a 5 o'clock shadow that looks so much better. I think I have a fix-up of it in my collection. It looks so much better, man. It's it's kind of crazy, but this figure's really good. I love the attire. The bronzish copper color that they got going on on the pants is really good. That figure is go buy it. I, I like that one a lot. All right, guys, so uh, I think our recording got cut off a little bit there at the end with Shawn Michaels. But let's move on, guys. We have Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, and I love the accessories that come with this. I've owned this figure. It's got really good posability to it, and I think I, I hate to do it again, Brad, but I think I have to put it in good figure. I mean, I don't I don't know what else to say. I feel like at the end, we're probably going to have to knock some of these down because I don't like all of them. They're not all good figures, you know? They're not all good figures, but we'll just see. We'll see how that goes. Um, but Ricky the Dragon Steamboat's 
it's got a ton of accessories, great posability, stuff like that. I kind of want to knock Shinsuke Nakamura down to meh. Maybe it was just at the moment it was super good, but looking back in reality, maybe it wasn't that good. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to... You know what? I am going to do it. I'm going to put Shinsuke just above Razor. I think maybe the moment it kind of is probably a little biased for me. Maybe I, you know, I was like, oh yeah, I, I scored the Shinsuke Nakamura. Maybe that has something to do with it. I wasn't a big fan of the torso, but I still like the figure. I don't know. We're going to put it in meh. We're going to put it in meh. It could move back up. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Next up, guys, is the Brock, Rock and Sock Connection Rock Elite Defining Moments. And this one is good. I like all the, again, man, any cloth accessories. You got cloth pants. You got cloth shirt. You got two cloth shirts, I think, or something like that. Or maybe it's just a really bad AF jacket. But you also get sunglasses. You get a microphone. This one is, uh, is it go buy it or is it good figure? I feel like it's just good figure. I really like it, but it's, it's you know, I love the jacket, but it does say Rock and Sock Connection. It's not like you could put it with any other version of Rock, really. But it is a really nice jacket. I don't know. I'm going to leave it there. I'm kind of all over the place right now, but I'm going to leave it right there. Next up, guys, is the Sting Defining Moments, and Crow Sting is very nostalgic for me. I, I like this a lot, man. I, I got to put it and go buy it. I really love this Sting. Crow Sting is so beautiful, man. I, I freaking, I remember when I was, uh, I think I was like three and four, they had a Sting documentary that I used to just watch all the time, like growing up. I would I'd wake up on a Saturday morning, I'd get Hardy's bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, freaking Coke, and I would just hash browns and just sit there with my brother and we would watch this Sting documentary over and over again, like, just because we were insane. I don't know why we did that, but we did that, and I love Crow Sting. I just love Sting, man. I don't know what to say. That's that's my memory with Crow Sting. That's just the first thing I think of. Next up, guys, is the Chris Jericho Defining Moments, and I gotta put this and go buy it. This is one of my favorites. Another nostalgic pop for me. Probably the best one, honestly. I, I love this one, man. It's just, I remember being a kid, I think I was five years old at the time of this, but Vengeance 2001, capturing both championships, beating the Rock and Stone Cold if you guys didn't know, Chris Jericho and Kurt Angle were my first favorite two wrestlers uh, growing up as a kid watching the WWE or WWF at that time. Chris Jericho and Kurt Angle were my all-time favorites. And then when Chris Benoit came back into the company, he became one of my favorites as well. And those three growing up, if they would ever lose, I would cry. So being five years old, seeing him win the both championships and everything like that, man, I love that Chris Jericho figure. It captures the moment. The hair is perfect. The attire is beautiful. I love that Chris Jericho figure. One of my favorite Mattel figures definitely of all time. And I know it's biased, okay? I try to be unbiased, but that's just, I mean, it's hard to say that. It means a lot to me, so it goes at the top, you know? Next up, guys, we have a figure that was actually voted figure of the decade, if you can believe that. The Macho Man second defining moments figure from WrestleMania 3, I do believe, in the pink and yellow. This figure was voted on on Instagram by everybody in the community, and they voted this figure of the decade. Everybody that I know in the in the figure community was like, what's that? Like, they didn't, they didn't even, you know, they didn't agree with it. I didn't agree with it. I don't know. I don't think it's bad. I think it's a good figure. I just, I don't know. I just, I, it's not figure of the decade. I can tell you that right now. Not figure of the decade. Great figure. Great moment. Great cloth robe thing. Not, not figure of the decade though. From 2010 to 2020, it got voted the best figure ever. I, I don't know. I don't make the rules. I just break them. Let's move on guys. We have, uh, we have the Great American Bash Sting. Now this one is our first. Oh man, I kind of want to, I'm putting in the garbage. I'm putting the garbage, okay? I love Sting. You guys know I love Sting. I like the attire, but the torso was jacked. My head sculpt wasn't very good. It had like a freaking head... Uh, a bobblehead style deal going on with it. The jacket, you couldn't even take off the jacket. It was difficult to take off the jacket. You couldn't pose the figure with the uh, arms in the jacket. I just think that uh, this figure would have been great if it had a different, I, I think a Stone Cold Steve Austin torso maybe or maybe even the Mizdow torso and probably a cloth jacket would have done wonders for this figure. I think it would have been all the way up here possibly, but for me, it's in the garbage. I'm putting it in the garbage. It's just garbage. I'm putting it there. Next up is Hulk Hogan, and for me, I was never a Hulk Hogan fan. This one is still a good figure. I actually used to go to my Kmart before it shut down. I used to go to my Kmart once a week. This figure rotted on the shelves. It was there so many times. I never bought it. I never bought it. Now it goes for $100, something like that. It goes for outrageous money, and I never got it, and now I am very upset that I never bought it because now I don't have it. I don't have the figure, and uh, I think it's good. I think it's a good figure, and I don't own it, so it's very upsetting that I had that many opportunities to own it. I never did. I just said, ah, eh, who needs Hulk Hogan? And now I regret it because I would like to see it up next to my Mr. T. I'd like to see it up next to a lot of things. That was like three or four years ago now. 
and I just never gotten it, and it makes me sick. Next up, guys, is the second Defining Moments John Cena. This one's barely acceptable for me. You guys know I'm a huge John Cena fan. I'm probably the biggest John Cena fan you'll find. The Word Life armbands are great. The head sculpt wasn't good. The jersey did not match the time. He never wore a 54 jersey with this attire. The ankles get super loose, and a lot of mine that I bought of this figure had, like, chipping on the calf paint, like his skin tone on the calves were actually chipping off, so for me, it's barely acceptable. I love the visor. I love the Word Life armbands and gauntlets and stuff, but it just, and a lot of them had a loose waist. It was just like, I don't know, man. Just doesn't, uh, doesn't get the juices flowing, if you get what I'm saying. Next up, we have probably one of the better Defining Moments figures, guys. We have the Defining Moments Triple H, and I love this figure, man. I don't know if it's second or third. It could be number one. I love this figure. I remember the moment like it was yesterday. It is the return Triple H. He's got the jacket. He's got the shirt. He's got the pants. You take all that off, it's in his 2002 gear. Oh, man, what a beautiful freaking figure, man. I mean, it is just a freaking amazing. I love that figure. The head sculpt's not the best, but, dude, you can easily head swap it, and it becomes instantly just, just amazing. I love that figure so much. Uh, I actually have never owned that figure, but I have owned the jacket. I've owned all the cloth accessories, and uh, I am still trying to track down that figure because it's still... It, I don't have any of the Triple H with that Iron Cross, the specific Iron Cross that's on the jacket that's on this that he wore in the early 2000s, around 2002 when he returned from injury. I love that figure, man. That's a that's a really good one right there. That That's a damn shame I've never owned that one, but... I do have like a fix-up sort of deal with his return attire in this right here, so that is good. And I put like an R3 tech head sculpt on it. Freaking beautiful. Next up, guys, is the second Defining Moments Ric Flair. This one's meh for me. I think the robe kind of saves it. I actually kind of want to go barely acceptable. This is supposed to... You know what? It is barely acceptable. It's barely acceptable, I think, because of the robe. I also think because of the... Uh, what was it? The the Mizdal Torso? He didn't look like that then, Brad. You can go back and watch the match with Shawn Michaels... He didn't have that ripped up torso, you know. He should have been given the the Terry Funk, or not the Terry Funk, the, the Honky Tonk Man, the Jim Duggan. You guys know what I'm talking about. In a darker skin tone would have made that figure pretty much perfect. I think that would have worked great, but this is barely acceptable. And next up, guys, is the worst Defining Moments figure, I think, of all time. The Ultimate Maniacs, Ultimate Warrior. I, this figure, there's actually a popular meme that, this is definitely the worst of the worst. It's got, it's got to be in the total garbage. There's actually a meme, or not a meme, but a photo that went around from a store where there was literally, I think, like 100, 200 of that figure on the shelf, and they could not move it. Like, it, there were so many. There were so many, and if I can find that picture, I'll definitely put it on the screen for you guys. So ridiculous. That figure was not good. I didn't like it. It just wasn't a big moment for me. I know that some people are probably going to have a problem with that, and I apologize for it. I just did not like the figure. I just didn't think it called for a defining moments figure. I felt like there were so many more things they could have done with it, and for that reason, I'm out. And next up, guys, is the other half of the WrestleMania 7 Ultimate Warrior. We have the ultimate, the ultimate, we have the WrestleMania 7 Macho Man Randy Savage from that match with Ultimate Warrior in the defining moments line, and this one for me, I think it's a good figure. I think it's a good figure. I think I'd put it right there you got the cloth good jacket you got the beautiful white and purple attire white hat glasses i think it's good figure i think it's you know it's it's solid i like it this is pretty much more where my ranking stands you know i mean i don't know what else i could do i feel like you know this is pretty good maybe some of these figures couldn't be in good figure they could move down possibly uh i don't know i mean they're pretty standalone good figures though i don't want to just deduct points just because it doesn't necessarily have to do with a defining moment i i wanted to incorporate that but you know what is defining moments subjective you know some of them are some of them aren't but i did put ultimate warrior down here i put sting down here just because of the the figure itself i feel like it could have been a lot better um i did my best trying to be unbiased as possible but i did have a lot of nostalgia in here but i mean this john cena's nostalgic i love the john cena i remember watching this as he grew up but the inaccuracies and just the the quality of the figure when i got it and i own like four or five six at seven of these and I still just, it's barely acceptable. I'm not going to tell you to go buy something that's not good. Unless you're just that big of a fan and don't care. But I think that pretty much does it for our ranking of our Defining Moments WWE Elite figures. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, change it up a little bit. But I think this is pretty good. I think this is where I stand. I think all of these are great. These are the best of the best for me personally. Some of these probably could move up, down, do what, it, with what you will. What do you think is the best Defining Moments? What do you think is the worst? 
Let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think we should do next, guys? Do you think we should do ringside exclusives? I think that would be probably the best bet. But I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I had a ton of fun doing these ranking videos. They are my absolute favorite. So if you guys have any future ones you want to see, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.